Hello, hello. Hey y'all. Today is Monday. Yep. The 8th. It's April already. Of April. Wow. It was a whole week last week. Yeah, huh? crazy. <laughs> and today is the solar eclipse. Yeah. We don't get to see the full one. Where, but... Wherever you are, you somewhere where where you get to see the uh, the totality, let us know in the comments. That'll be cool. Yeah, if you got to see the, the total eclipse, the full one, let us know. We, of course, are in Florida. And, um... It, it, they tell us it's going to dim up about 3 about three o'clock around here. Like a cloudy day. But that's all it's going to be. We don't get to see the full thing, so... Uh, you know, sorry. And we won't have a full one here until we are in our 80s. <laughs> yeah. no, almost 20 years from now. A more than 20 years from now. So. So but, it's one of, those, one of those astrological events that's kind of cool, but we have to understand it happens all the time. You know, so all the hubbub you're hearing about this and that happens all the time. Just not been happening for since us. forever. So don't get all wrapped up in all the conspiracies and all the the false the false prophecies and all that kind of nonsense. This is an event that happens all of the time for us. It's since, nothing weird since forever. There's nothing weird about it. As I remember, as a child, the, there were several of them, and it was a big deal. And, uh, of course, back then, there was no cell phones and 24-hour news. So, it was even a bigger deal to get to see it. So, but that's what we... People will make the little pin cameras. The little pin cameras? Mm -hmm. Which is just like a little piece of paper, a little pin hole in it that you throw against the ground so you can actually see it. Well, they say that now you can, um, I saw on the news this morning, you can take a colander, you know, like you drain noodles yes. in. Same thing. And put it on the ground. Same, same concept. And you can see it that way. So. Well, I'm not going the whole, whole mile. What are they doing? I don't have any idea. They're going into their yard. Where are you going? Oh, I didn't know they were. But where are you going? I'm walking. <laughs> I know. Oh, no. my goodness. No, you, you missed your turn. Okay. He doesn't want to go the full way. I do not. <laughs> I must admit, after taking a little time off on the weekend, it gets to be hard to get back out here. So that's why some Sundays we do walk. A little bit, yeah. But it is a beautiful day. I must out. say. Sun's out <laughs> for now anyway. And uh, um, the humidity is down. There's a breeze. Oh, it's nice though. Very, it's breezy. No, oh, it's nice. Nice and cool. We were talking about this morning. This is the weather in Florida where kids lose jackets and sweaters. It was, it was in the fifties this morning, or in, or on the low sixties when it when we went to school, and it'll be as high as eighty-five today. So, <laughs> yeah, 50s. that's when you take that jacket off and you don't have no idea what you did. <laughs> 50s is, is chilly for us yeah. here. I know everybody's in the northern states are like, 50s is nice. It's chilly for us. Yeah, so you send the kid, you know, in a light jacket or whatever, or sweater, that they invariably will not bring back because they took it off at lunch and they don't have any idea where it is. It's somewhere on the playground. Yeah. In the gym, on a desk. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> it's not with them, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't send anything nice this time of year because you're probably not getting it back. 
I remember this beautiful yellow sweater that a family friend, a friend of my mom's gave to me. And she, she thought I was so cute in it. And I was. And I wore it to school. <laughs> that first day, she was so excited about put me putting it on and I was so cute and everything. I was in kindergarten. <laughs> Never saw that sweater again. Well, you, know, you know, with a five-year-old, it's good to get them home in their regular clothes. I want extra clothes. Because <laughs> sometimes I remember my son at that age would come home. He would leave looking so perfect and perine and come home like a dirt knob. <laughs> well, because they played and they, and they got dirty. He would be so dirty. Cause he would play in school, and then after school they would play. Oh yeah. So he would be so dirty, and go through sneakers like drinking water. <laughs> yep, first. So you had to have more than one pair of sneakers for them. <laughs> a neighbor riding his bike. We're all on recovery road. But uh, that's the all for our little stories for the day. That's it. That's all going on. It's a lot of traffic today. Oh, Stanislaus. Maybe. I think his father was using that truck. Okay. But just want to come in and say hello. Oh, hey, y'all. Always remember, never forget, we love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Peace, Peace. have a good day. Tell us about the eclipse. Busy day making meals. We'll be back once they are plated. Good afternoon. It is around two o'clock. I'm about ready to log in for work. So this morning I went ahead and made my meals on Meal Prep Tuesday. We have some chicken thighs here with yellow rice, broccoli and broccoli with some butter and uh, garlic. I didn't make as many this week as I normally do. We only have about eight meals here, but they'll make it through. Wonderful week, didn't get a video uploaded, so this week, but we will work on it and have it before Friday. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Hello, hello haven't forgotten about you and I've been on the road for recovery every day this week and recording it it's gonna be in a vlog it's uh, 5 30 I just got off work and I'm out taking a stroll feeling good just a little tired hubby's at work love you guys and there's nothing you can do about it peace good morning it's a beautiful Wednesday morning on my first break getting some steps in have some errands to run on my lunch hour so it'll probably be an evening walk for my second walk but it's been a good week feeling good I've lost two pounds over the last week 
And I just want to say, you know, it's really not about the pounds. It's about that I feel so good. Um, I'm able to walk and move without feeling knee, my knees hurting so much and different things. There's so much more at this age that I'm looking forward to at getting to a healthy weight than it was 20 years ago. So be encouraged. I come on here to try to motivate people because there's so many people struggling in the silence. I did for many years and I'm trying to do better. So remember, we love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Well, hello there. It's Debbie and finally with a haul for you guys, a grocery haul. Um, it's This is just a little small pickup that um, we did today just to take us into the next week. I did a big haul, a big thing last week, but wasn't in the mood for filming. So, but, um, and here you have my protective style. I think I'm just going to take this loose for church tomorrow and wear it curly. But um, it's a Saturday afternoon. I've been off from work for a while and uh, picked up the groceries. And here's what we have for the coming week. Okay. Let's start over here. Over here we have, we're trying out something different for um, chicken sandwiches this week for my son for his lunches. We have uh, chicken patties here. They are from Foster Farms. Um, I, I, I'm not trying to be political on here, but I heard a few things about Tyson that um, our household was not too happy about as to what they did with some of their workers and so forth in their factories. So I switched over to a different type of chicken instead of Tyson. That's all I got to say about that. Here and then we have some um, normally blend vegetables for meals this week. Let me move back here so you can get a better view. There we go. Normally blend uh, vegetables for my meals this week. And back here have some sweet potatoes um, I've been uh, cutting back and trying not to eat any uh, processed and, uh, and eating vegetables mostly this, uh, this week and next week 
just for my personal preference I'm just doing something for for Debbie and um, trying to be take better care of my temple so but there's some banana bread banana walnut bread cake back there for the guys we have some chick uh, cheese sliced cheese that's going to be for sandwiches. I already have turkey breasts in the refrigerator. Um, up here we have black beans. And then we have some... There we go. Heart of Palm. I fell in love with this stuff. This stuff is really good. Um, I can't explain what it tastes like. But it's it, what it is, is it's part of the palm tree. Um, cut out and it's little chunks of it I this past week what I did with it was I cut it into slices and you can saute it with your vegetables and it takes on a texture of like meat so um, or you can just eat them plain out of the can they're they're already good like that but if you don't like olives they kind of like olives if you don't like olives you won't like the heart of palm but um, it's very tasty to me and um, very healthy so there we have some mushrooms that's for my saute as well um, raisins some berries um, and what I'm doing with those is I those are frozen berries I have hot water in the morning with fresh berries in it and it's a, a little healthy tea for me and it tastes very good very good I like it and I put my protein mix my uh, collagen mix in it <laughs> and I have that in place of coffee I'm trying I'm laying off the caffeine this week also there we have some fresh Brussels Brussels sprouts um, I like those roasted in the oven with a little garlic and, and uh, balsamic vinegar on them and they are awesome my son likes them too. Hubby don't care for Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Over here, we have some turkey sausage. That's another thing that I make uh, breakfast when I make his breakfast in the morning. We had he has uh, one of those on like those thin bagels and are are on an egg make on a muffin, a Thomas muffin. He likes those. Um, here we have some fig newton bars for for snacks and for his lunches we have um, burritos that's another thing that my son likes and tried something new with him to get some some beef patties um, I've never tried to make those personally myself but I think I might take that on sooner or later <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to try these for him um, for his lunch and snacks. Here we have some organic vegetables. And what I do with these, it's um, it's got a mixture of carrots and uh, cabbage and broccoli and all kind of stuff in there. I saute that with some, um, with some of the, that, the palms, heart of palms. Yummy. I love it. <laughs> and then uh, we have some broccoli and cauliflower. We have carrot chips. I have some corn here for roasting. I'm going to put that in the oven. And I'm going to show you some of the recipes with those meals that I make for myself um, on the side this week. We have some flax bread. It's flat bread lavish bread it's called and it has oats and flaxseed in it these are good I like to cut them up put them in the air fryer have it with a little hummus it's yummy I'm telling you it's very good um, we have bread here for the week for sandwiches we have some OxyClean for laundry my favorite apples here again, the cosmic apples. And last week we went a, down a, another hole. I got some, um, let me show you what these really look like. That's the cosmic crisp apples. They're very yummy. 
put those bad boys in the refrigerator and cut them up and they are so good and we we got some uh, pink lady apples last week because it was a substitute and they were nasty to me <laughs> so that's, they were beat up in the bag they just didn't pick a good bag I think but um, I'm sticking with my cosmics the, those are the best apples ever next to gala I like gala but these top gala so here we have some Uncle John sausages. I'm going to make um, sausage, black beans, and yellow rice uh, for meals next week for the guys. And then we have some grapes. We have a pineapple back there and some cilantro for my salads and um, my meals. And some popcorn. That's one thing I don't like to give up is popcorn. That's one of my favorite snacks, and that's what I snack on. So, I told you it was a small haul. We do have water. It's over on the floor over here. But this is my small haul for the week. And I'll be popping in and sh uh, sharing some of my meals that I'm going to prepare for myself. As I told you, I'm on a little journey here, eating, uh, staying away from caffeine and meat for a while. So, and I did it last week and I lost three pounds in a week. So, it, my body likes it. So, we're going to stick with that for a while and see how it goes. Thank you for watching and thank you for being patient with me for not putting out as many videos this week. But trust me, we have been on the road on the recovery road out there walking every day and me eating healthy <laughs> everybody eats pretty healthy but anyway we love you <laughs> and there's nothing that you can do about it thanks for watching have a wonderful week we'll be back well hello it's saturday night let me turn this off Saturday night and <clears throat> I don't think I've ever shared with you all that on Saturday evenings is when I attend my Weight Watchers meetings and that's where I'm getting ready to go on to and um, sorry this is real life <laughs> this is what I look like on Saturday night when I'm going to, uh, I'm going to turn you around here. I'm getting ready to do my Weight Watchers workshop, virtual. And there's my meeting person, who is Sheila. I'm not sure if Sheila's going to be here tonight because it was her birthday and she was going to take two weeks off. So we may have to get to see uh, someone else, but I'm not going to let you in on my entire meeting, but I just wanted you to see what it looks like. And here we are. Yeah, Sheila is there. And there's my, the two coaches that run my Weight Watchers meeting on Saturday evenings. And it's a lot of fun. And I'm learning a lot, and I am down 18 pounds now. And um, but I'm but the thing that I'm learning the most is how to love Debbie, and that's coming through my relationship with Christ. This Weight Watchers is just a tool in the process. But my main connection is in Christ, and I'm learning to do my Bible study and staying close with him because he is my, what is it, uh, Ozempic. He is my Wagovi and all of that stuff. So he's the shot that I get weekly that helps me to make it through. And while I'm doing that, I do my nails at night. So I'm here 
Everybody else is in the back of the house and I always come out here up front and have my Weight Watchers meeting. So I thought I would just give you a glimpse of my Saturday night. Also while watching YouTube that, that I turn it off when I'm <laughs> in my meetings, but that's what I was doing when I was preparing my nails. But it is eight o'clock. Time for Weight Watchers. Talk to you later.